सो हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे इस टॉपिक इज द सब क्लेवियन आर्ट्री रिमेंबर द सब क्लेवियन आर्ट्री इट इज द प्रिंसिपल आर्ट्री दैट सर्व एज द प्रिकर्जर टू द एक्सिलरी आर्ट्री दैट इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर सप्लाइंग द अपर लिंक विद द ऑक्सीजनेटेड ब्लड बियॉन्ड इट्स रोल इन द अपर लिंक द सब क्लेवियन आर्ट्री रिमेंबर इट ऑल्सो कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट्स टू वेस्कुलाइजेशन ऑफ द सब्सटेंशियल पोर्शन ऑफ द नेक एंड ब्रेन थ्रू इट्स एक्सटेंसिव नेटवर्क ऑफ ब्रांचेज now let us talk about the origin of the subclavian artery so remember that on the right side the subclavian artery it emerges as the branch of the branchiocephalic artery that is situated posterior to sternoclavicular joint so this one is the right subclavian artery it arises from branchiocephalic artery whereas the left artery the left subclavian artery it arises from the arch of aorta so the left side the subclavian artery it is a branch of arch of aorta it ascends and enter the neck posterior to the left sternoclavicular joint so for entrance exam point you have to just remember that the right artery is branch of the branchiocephalic trunk and the left artery it is branch of the aortic arch now let us discuss about the course of the subclavian artery the subclavian artery takes a distinct path uh, arching laterally from the sternoclavicular joint to the outer border of the first rib so the the skeletal anterior muscle it is a structure within the neck that plays important role in shaping the subclavian artery so as the artery courses through the neck the skeletal anterior muscle crosses it anteriorly dividing it into three parts the first part is the medial part second part is the posterior and the third is lateral to the skeletal medial muscle so the artery it is terminated at remember the outer border of the first rib where the artery becomes the axillary artery so the course of the artery it is divided into two uh, three parts first part origin from the medial border of the skeletal anterior muscle second part is behind this muscle and third is from the lateral margin of skeletal anterior to the outer border of the first rib where the artery it becomes axillary artery now what are the branches of the subclavian artery the first part uh, the branches are the vertebral artery this one is the vertebral artery internal thoracic artery and third is the thyro cervical trunk so the for the mnemonic in order to remember that you can remember is keyword vitamin vitamin c d is the mnemonic to remember that it the branches of second part is the costo cervical trunk the second part this one is the first part the second part is the costo cervical trunk and the third part it gives rise to dorsal uh, dorsal scapular artery now the vertebral artery remember the vertebral artery uh the vertebral artery imagine this branch as vital road leading to your brain the vertebral artery ensure your brain get oxygen and nutrients it need to function properly the internal thoracic artery think of this branch as supplier to the chest and nearby structures so it deliver blood to the essential area in your chest the thyro cervical trunk this trunk is like a tree with three branches each going to the different places uh, the first is the vertebral artery so remember that the vertebral artery uh, is not only the first but also the largest branch that is arising from the first part of the subclavian artery so this artery it has a special mission it runs a lengthy course reaching all the way to the cranial cavity so it there are four parts of the vertebral artery uh, 
the first part the journey begins so this part stretches its starting point to the foramen transversarium and uh, picture it running upward and backward finding its way between uh, scalenus anterior and longus coli muscle so it navigates through the angle formed by these muscles making it way behind the common carotid artery and the inferior thyroid artery and the journey its end part is within the cranial cavity the vertebral artery having navigated through various anatomical structure finally reach its destination that is the brain so here it ensure that the brain receive the essential nutrients and oxygen it requires for the optimal functioning so it passes medially above the posterior arch of the atlas and then it ascends uh, to the foramen magnum into the skull at level of lower border of pons and it joins the vessels to form the basilar artery so this one the vertebral artery it forms the finally divides it forms the basilar artery and it uh, gives a branch to the pons cerebellum and internal layer and it finally divides into the two posterior cerebral arteries and it gives branches like the spinal branch muscular branch and the intracranial branch the next is the uh next is the internal thoracic artery it begins its journey from the inferior aspect of first part of the subclavian artery situated opposite the region of the thyro cervical trunk so once born from the subclavian artery the internal thoracic artery take a journey downward medially creating a path in the front of the cervical pleura so picture the artery in relation to the sternal and in the sternal end of the clavicle so the internal thoracic artery does not stop at the neck it ventures into the thorax by passing uh, beneath the first costal cartilage and it finally terminates it courses at the six intercostal space so it leaves behind by dividing into two branches that is the superior epigraphic and musculophrenic arteries the next is the thyro cervical trunk so it is a short wide artery that arises near the medial border of scalenus anterior muscle and it divides into inferior thyroid artery suprascapular artery so this one is the suprascapular artery and third is the superficial cervical artery the inferior thyroid artery it supplies the thyroid and the inferior parathyroid glands other arteries are the suprascapular artery and the superficial cervical artery the branches of the second part are the costo cervical trunk uh that has a superior intercostal artery and a deep cervical artery and the third part of the subclavian has no branches occasionally it has a uh, it gives dorsal scapular artery so that was all about the subclavian artery